Here now are Doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empey. Hello, friends, and welcome to Jack Van Empey Presents. We've got some good news. We are going to be going back on television within a couple of weeks, uh, September 1st and on, on some stations, up to September 6th on other stations, and we're really looking forward to that. And, Jack, you were so excited about it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited. As you know, I've been in a hospital bed for five years with cancer and everything imaginable. And they said I'd never preach again. Three times I was two hours facing death. Three occasions. And I'm here. A paper just was put out in America. It says, Van B is back from the dead. Hallelujah. I'm going to be there. And I'm going to be on television until my last breath. I will not retire. I can't sit around and look out the window. As long as one soul is saved, I'm going to be on. So I'm signing up for three years for all the television stations I used to have. We're going for the goal of 617. That will reach every nation on earth, and the shortwave stations will reach the rest of the world, meaning every one of the 247 nations of the world will be in our reach with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to do it. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Every creature. Mark 16, 15. We're going to do that. We now know that we will be reaching every human being on earth for the next three years. Think of it. Every creature fulfilling the exact word of God. And then go ye therefore and teach all nations. Matthew 28, 19. We're going to do that too. And boy, I'm telling you, I'm getting ready with messages that are going to shock the world. Please. We now have the biggest outreach in history. It's the biggest missionary organization ever to exist. Will you join it? Will you stand behind us with at least $25 a month? When you do, you'll get our magazine and intelligence briefing, all the great prophecies. And if, the more you give, the more I'm going to give you. I'm going to put videos out galore for your homes. Are you listening? It's going to be the greatest revival in history. We're reaching every human being, and so now we're talking about the billion souls crusade for oh. Jesus. Billions. You can go to trillions because we're going to reach them, every human being on earth, for 312 different times. Praise the Lord. We need your help. Do you give your tithes and offerings? Send us some of your tithes. We'll give you things galore because I'm going to create things like you've never heard. I'm creating my legacy now. And that's my work of a lifetime. And sometimes you're just going to get gifts. But I need your help. Please think about giving your tithes. You may be giving it where you are now. Do it. They win a one soul. Here is an organization that's going to reach every human being, and we're going to reach some billion for Jesus, salvation-wise. That's what I feel in my heart. Get the address at the end. Write us this week. Amen. Well, you can see why I said he's very excited about going back on television. Mm -hmm. Certainly the Lord has opened that big door. And, oh. you know, Jack, you already have a legacy. My, oh, my. He's been serving the Lord since he was a teenager, just converted. Well, I would like to point something out to you. This is truly one of the reasons that Jack Van Impey is where he is today, that he's uh, giving the gospel around the world. I'd like for you to take a look at the Midnight Call, uh, Dr. Frosey's magazine. And uh, I was caught off guard as I watched uh, this headline here. Has the great falling away from the faith begun? I believe God brought Jack Van Impey back because it has begun. There is an article by Dr. David Reagan. A voice denouncing apostasy. And he's uh, also quoting one of the ladies, Jan Markell. And she's a great, great preacher for the Lord around the world, and she's a converted Jew. How grateful we are that God is reaching so many countries with the gospel in these last days. 
because there is a falling away from the faith. We need to speak up for the Lord. Jack, do you agree with that? Do you believe that this apostasy has started? Ladies and gentlemen, Christ is about to come when the Holy Spirit came to me on that gracious night, August 13th, a year ago. He told me, you have been chosen to be the final prophet to tell the world Christ is about to return to set up the glorious kingdom and every sign is about to happen. And this is one of the greatest signs, the great falling away. And this lady is a Jewish prophetess. And I'm glad that Reagan had her. I really back Reagan because he knows what he's talking about. He was a college professor and decided to go into the ministry. He knows what he's talking about. Yes, he does. And he said she's right. And the guy named Rick Warren, which I've blasted so often, is one of the big guys that's turning away from the faith. And yet I see him at my own uh, Baptist meetings. I'm a Southern Baptist. And lo and behold, uh, he is speaking at their rallies. They're still having him. I talked to a great man who's in the Southern Baptist. Says, Let's do something about it. He says, the whole Baptist movement of our group is going that way. God help us. One of the greatest Baptist groups in, that took a stand for Jesus. It's true. God help us. God help us. But what are we going to do about it? It's what the Bible see prophecies will happen. And right now there are 13 Protestant denominations that are saying we're taking a stand against the Jew. Anti-Semitics. Don't you know that the Bible has our God saying, I will give Israel the Jew an everlasting name. And everlasting means everlasting. If you don't believe in what the word everlasting means, then your everlasting life is going to be very short, believe me. You won't even see the inside of heaven. Seventeen of you guys, turning from the faith, you're apostates, and I'm going to start preaching like I've never preached. I was facing death and now I'm facing life. And I'm going to call you out of these devilish churches. For the Bible says they're going to be preaching doctrines of devils in the last day. And we're starting to find it in our Protestant churches as well. God help us. I'll have more to say that in the weeks to come. Stay tuned. Get my magazines. Join us. Let's win the world for Jesus together. Amen. All right, Jack, let's see why our churches are empty. Let's start here uh, and just say that uh, he mentioned some who are turning away from the gospel and they're turning to apostasy. But before we talk about America, let's go to Europe. Those churches are empty too. Jack and I have been all over Europe in every country. Fifty countries preaching. Yes, well, in all of Europe, Jack, we would go into the churches we wanted to see. All empty. They're not getting anything over there. And because they're not getting anything. Look at what's happening in Europe, if you will, please. Islam posed to pass Anglicans as preferred religion, Britain's young adults. Now, um, they don't want Christianity anymore. The Britain young adults say only 1% in Great Britain under the age of, uh, up to the age of 16 to 29 say, we want churches. We'd rather have the Muslim religion. Going on. I'll say play about will, that in a minute. Europe will be Muslim, says Turkish leader. Once again in Europe, ISIS video predicts jihadists waiting west of Paris for attack on France. Well, they want to take over. Like I said, woman shouting, Allahu Akbar attacks too with box cutter at supermarket in France. There it is again. Ethnic cleansing being perpetrated against the French Jews. Oh, my, oh, my. Man arrested after weapon threats shouting, Allahu Akbar, in Belgian city recently, rocked by terror. Mm. Of course, that's where Jack's uh, family all my live. My Belgian relatives said they were afraid that they're going to knock on our door and say, repent, turn to Islam, or die. And I'm going to show you why they're shaking in Belgium and what I know about this deadly religion. Jack, I want to go on here in Belgium. Belgium Islamic Party announces 100% Islamic State 
as the end goal. They want to take over all of Belgium. Do you see where we're going, friends? They want to take over all of Europe. And the Christians aren't standing up to them. The, you know, the young people Afraid there. they're going in, to be put to death. The young people there in England say, fine, one, only 1% 1 want Christianity. Germany, rising security threat as authorities warn Islamic extremists have doubled to 11,000. That's in Germany. That's the extremists there in Germany. Well, of course, Merkel has let in so very, very many migrants. And there they are. They're going to try and take over. Jack, oh. will this continue oh, leading Rexa. to, let me just ask this very, very important question, leading to a worldwide confrontation? It's leading to World War Three. It's going to happen soon. And when it happens, we're gone in the twinkling of an eye. God says, I'm going to keep you from, that's the Greek word, ek, out of the Battle of Armageddon in that war. Raptured. We swept away in the twinkling of an eye, 11 one hundredths of a second. 11, seven years later, when the war ends, we come back to rule and reign with Jesus at Jerusalem. Not Rome, not New York, Jerusalem. We're going to say more about that, but let me answer what we just did. Right now, Germany. Do you know that the great preacher Martin Luther came out of Germany? He's up rolling over in his grave right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Germany now is outnumbered. The Muslims now are more than the German population. God forgive them. Oh, Martin Luther, if you were alive, would do everything you could to take a stand. And this is happening to all those nations. All of Europe is going to head that way. But there are going to be a few that are going to stand with the Jew for the greatest war in history. And after the rapture, we've been kept out of it. We return with them. 200 million will have died, the greatest number in any history of any war, including World War I and II. God help us. It's about to happen. Get saved. Get ready. Jesus is about to come. God says, you're the prophet. Christ is about to return to set up the kingdom. Heaven transfer to earth. Aren't you glad you're alive for that? They're going to move heaven to earth. And we're going to reign there forever and forever and forever. We're never going to Rex Seller quote the, uh, the Lord's Prayer, will you? Oh, I do this quite often I here in our program, but true. I love it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come. kingdom and i love this thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors well this is important lead us not into temptation that do away with islam but deliver us from evil that too for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever amen Oh, it's forever. The world's never going to end. Both the Old Testament and the New Testament state, it's a world without end. We've had jokers here, 10 of them that preached the end of the world. Baloney, they didn't know their Bibles. This book says this world's going to stay here forever and forever and forever long. It's forever. It's forever. And we're going to live here forever. And we're going to live in our same bodies forever. For we will have received our new resurrection bodies. And on such, the second death has no power. We can't die a second death. Living forever here. Joy. The kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Transferred to earth. And the ninth fruit of the Holy Spirit. Controlling everything. What is the ninth fruit of the Spirit? Love. Joy. Peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. And it says, in light of these, there is no law necessary. That's what that text means there. We won't need the commandments anymore. 
The last night, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not lie, bear false witness, and thou shalt not covet. Boy, we got a lot of religious crooks even among the Christian ministers, television guys. They want their jets and all the things of this life, multi-million dollars homes. Listen, you know what our God says? The love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. That's what the word covet means. The Ten Commandments don't covet. It's true. They've erred from the faith. Money, 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 money. I'm making you promise, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to hear it. Get into us this week and get your magazine. Get in the magazines we give all the stations across the world. You're going to tell your loved ones. I make this promise to you. Every single cent you send, your tithes, your offerings, every penny will go to missions to win a billion souls for Christ. And I will not again ever take a salary. I haven't for seven years already. I won't. I can live on my books. And even anything above that that I accumulate will be given. I don't want a six million dollar home. I just want to live for Jesus. You say, would you come out? For any reason, if there were one soul left to win to Jesus, I'd be there. I care about souls. For five years I lay in my bed and I witnessed wherever I could. It was my feeble body. And I'm back, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to take a stand like this world has never heard. I am going to become a Dr. J. Vernon McGee when he had that great church in Los Angeles, loaded with Hollywood actors. He said, right. don't preach on these things. This is Hollywood. But I did. And he got up when he saw the altars filled with Hollywood stars coming to Jesus. He said, I've changed this man's name from the walking Bible because he's memorized it all to the Belgian Bible bombshell. Hallelujah. But I even like another name they call me, Pitbull Van Impey. And I'm going to go after him, Rex Hollow. Amen. I'm going to get off of you after you pussyfooting preachers and your money grabbers and all the rest of you. I'm not going to let one thing go. Sin is filling the Church of Jesus Christ now in America, in the priesthood. And I'm not anti catholic I love Pope John Paul and Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. But it's sweeping the churches, our Protestant churches. Billy Graham Magazine now says seven out of every ten of our preachers are steeped in pornography committing sexual sin as they look at dirty pictures everything's failing everywhere it's the final sign oh Jesus come quickly and I've been commissioned as I said as the final prophet to tell the world Christ is about to return stay tuned folks join me become missionaries for Christ win some souls and when you stand with us financially, we'll never use a dime of it. It's all to win the lost. And when he gives out the five crowns, the one of us, the soul winner's crown, I'll see as I stand there with the Lord that my people who stood with me I'll get that crown. Oh, yes, Jack, we want to see you the crowns that Jesus offers to us yeah. because we'll lay them at his feet. We're not going to walk around to heaven with crowns on our heads, but we'll lay them at the feet of Jesus. Oh, how wonderful to be working for him. Well, we are living in serious times. There is a great falling away oh. from the faith of Jesus Christ. How grateful I am we're able to go into all these countries and give the truth. Well, another group that uh, the Muslims seem to be gathering up against and wanting to turn around. Iran, Khomeini, urges Muslim nations to unite against who? The United States. Yes, we're included in that. That's Persia of Ezekiel 35. All right, and then again, New Jersey, I meant to be retrained after hoping in a sermon that all Jews die. All right, there, there, seem, to be, uh, there seem to be a focus on the United States and on Israel. And they're all they want to take over, yes. Islamics. Uh, every Jew dead. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Normalizing ties with Israel is against uh, uh, Islam. 
There That's it is again. That's what they're trying to teach. All right. Saudis, Iran on path to very, very bloody war. Armageddon. Armageddon. Yes, it's leading to Revelation that. Revelation 16, 16. Turkey urges the Islamic world to unite against Israel. Well, you can see where it's going, friends. They're trying to raise up the, uh, the government and say, we are going to take over and we're going to have a united religion. Where? Around the world. You're going to be under us, just like they're taking over in Germany and all throughout Europe. Oh, it used to be a Christian continent. All of Europe used to be Christian. But I'm afraid there's a great falling away around the world, friends. We need to get the gospel out. And Jack Van Hippie was brought back from his deathbed Amen. to do this. I laid there and cried many times. I was in a coma for 138 days. I couldn't pray. I couldn't read the Bible. Nothing. I said, God, if you let me back, I'll give it everything I have till my last breath. And I mean, folks, I'm back. I'm back. And I'm back with a passion. The last article just read by Rixella was Tagarma, that's Turkey. I have the Wall Street Journal. It says, here are all the nations in Atlanta for World War III, the bloodiest battle of history. I grabbed that. I ran to Rexella. I said, Rexella, here's the message I preached 60 years ago. 60 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, it's here. It's here. We're going to see World War III. We're going to see the greatest bloodshed in history. 200 million will die. Uh, basically, the 57 nations that are now taking such a stand against the Jew, plus the communist nations, and China and the rest. It's going to be a war like there's never been. But, oh, I'm going to say it again. The believers shall be kept out of it. The rapture, seven years later, with the war ends, we come back. And he sets us up there forever, forever. We can never die. We're in the new bodies. We've been raised at the resurrection. And that such the second death has no power to live forever and forever and forever with the Lord, with all members of the Trinity, with loved ones. Friends will be there of love long ago. Joy like a river around me will flow. Yet just a smile for my Savior I know will through the ages be glory for me and honey. We're going to see your moms and dads. Amen. Soon. Amen. And your little Donnie brother who just died. Oh, what a day it's going to be. Get ready. Prepare to meet your God. It's all about to happen. Start tuning in. Two weeks from now, we've become members of the television media again all across the world and you're going to hear sermons like you've never heard because God told me to prepare the world for his return all Trinity is going to come back not just Jesus the Holy Spirit's been with me for the last 12 months wow I'll tell you about it two weeks from now Jack you know you made a statement just a moment ago you said prepare to me, your God. You know, you might today say, oh, Rexella, everything happening out there kind of scares me. The 4,500 man-made antichrist religions, that scares me. Don't be afraid. Because one day the Lord is coming back and he's going to set everything, everything straight. But you can be prepared for his coming right now. And you can have peace in a troubled world. You know, the Lord gives us that peace when he comes into our hearts. How can we have that peace? We can have him. All you have to do is say, Lord, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. So many young people are confused. Maybe you're on drugs. Maybe you are taking, mm. oh, ready to take an overdose. So many suicides. Don't do that. Accept Christ. You'll be forgiven of everything in your life that you know shouldn't have been there. He'll forgive you. He'll wash you clean in his blood. That's why he came, to die for you, 
that you might be ready one day to live with him. And Jack's going to pray a prayer right now. It's simple. Lord Jesus, be my Savior. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Jack, would you pray that wonderful prayer? I'm not trying to brag, but I have memorized this entire book. Cover to cover. 400 times it says, Jesus is the only way. Yes. Only way. Jesus said, no man can come to the Father but by me. That backs it. That's only one of the 400. I got 399 to go. 800 times it says it's the blood that is shed for the remission of sins. And it's the blood of Christ. 400 times it was animal blood. And then they said that's not good enough. It only covers sin doesn't take it away. No one can go to heaven until it's taken away. Christ died on the cross and he says, tell us die, finished. And he went and led captivity captive. He took those who were in Hades with him. Now the sins that had only been covered are taken away and they're gone. 11 one hundredths of a second. Seven years later they come back. The kingdom is set up forever and forever. Oh, what a time it's going to be. And the, the, the Holy Spirit said, you've been a, appointed and anointed by me, the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, to be that final prophet. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, friends, tell the world, get others listening. This thing is being played for the next 24 hours and for the full week. Call everyone you know. Get them interested in all the stations of the world. Join the greatest missionary project in history this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Will you pray the prayer of accepting the Lord now, Jack? That's so important. As simple as I said, include yourself in this wonderful prayer with Jack. Jesus, come unto me. Oh, the labor and our heavy laden. I'll give you rest. Father, there's only one way our sins can ever be forgiven. All the filthy, dirty, rotten sins that human beings create. And all of us have been guilty for some one time or another. Right now, Lord, hear that prayer. Will you say this to God? Lord Jesus, I've sinned. Yes. Your holy, precious blood can wash away every stain. I ask you, Jesus, cleanse me right now as I receive you. Save me so I can be with you and the saints forever. First in heaven and as we return to this earth forever. I pray this, Lord, I want it in your holy name. Amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer, please write to me, and I will be happy to send you first steps in a new direction. I say this every single week. You can go to our website, Jack Van MP Ministries, and we'll have the address there. But you see it on the screen right now also. So Canada and the United States, please write. We'll be happy to send this to you if you prayed that wonderful prayer of acceptance. Also, I don't want to miss saying that you can still receive Russia, World War III, and Armageddon. Probably one of the most important videos that Jack has ever done. Talking about Russia, whoa, it's in the headlines all the time. Preached so, 60 years ago. Once again, We're right on. Once again, Jack, uh, there is our address, and they can write, and we will tell them on uh, our address exactly how to get this. I want to leave you with this wonderful thought. I saw it on, uh, in front of a church one day when we were in Canada, and this is what it said. Don't wait for six strong men to take you to church. Oh, go now and enjoy the blessings of the Lord. Look forward to being with you again next week, and until then, remember, God cares for you. So do we so very much. Bye-bye.